Hey guys, Retro Badger here. So in this video, we had a request from the resident comedian, and basically, we want to assimilate Deep Space Nine or destroy it. Red alert, shield. Now the only thing I could think of is it's obviously one of Quark's schemes, maybe to avoid paying certain taxes. Our forward shield is. I draining. don't know. Or maybe it's an insurance thing, because Quark does have um, one of the biggest insurance companies we should not fire on the Alpha Park. Quadrant. Now, I've tried this battle a few times now, and it's not been successful, funnily enough. I used two assimilation cubes and a tactical cube, and it wasn't enough. Tactical cube's cool, it's got this one weapon you can fire out and it drains the shield, but it doesn't work very well in Deep Space Nine. That, that was that noise you just heard then. Deep Space Nine's doing quite a good job. All those, um, that multi targeting's impressive. But I imagine seeing this many Borg cubes attacking Deep Space Nine. See, if Star Trek didn't go with the whole plot thing, um, for example, in First Contact, the Borg would have sent loads of Borg cubes. I mean, look what happened to Voyager. It came up against is it 15 Borg cubes in the end. It's insane. Not fire unfriendly targets, Captain. Okay, so the shielding's collapsed. Yeah, that is one tough station. Oh no, what's going on with the phasers? That's strange. That's bizarre. This just shows you how tough the uh, Dominion War refit of Deep Space Nine was. I mean, I'm not sure entirely how accurate this is. I mean, it's taking on a, a Borg fleet here. Enemy ship wow. has been destroyed. That's it. Well, there we go. Goodbye. We've done Quark's dirty work for him. Hey, that, that's got a green tinge to it. That's strange. Did we assimilate Deep Space Nine? I don't know. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.